The appetite for a lockdown in St. Kitts and Nevis is not appealing at this time given the economic consequences where the health authorities are pushing harder than ever to get more people vaccinated. When community spread began on St. Kitts, locking down the country was not on the table according to Mr. Abdia Samuel, head of the COVID-19 National Task Force. Instead, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws informed of an aggressive contact tracing process to contain the spread as quickly as possible and of shutting all schools temporarily. Authorities at the forefront in the pandemic fight have been focusing on control measures and on an ongoing plea for residents in the Federation to be vaccinated. We can take some reassurance that the processes and systems we have in place to detect infections early and to deal with them are working effectively in St. Kitts and Nevis. Our testing process is working. This means we can quickly identify who may be carrying the virus. The Ministry of Health continues its robust contact tracing exercise, which began on Wednesday, May 19, 2021 and we will continually update you as the situation unfolds. The aim is to break the chains of transmission of the COVID-19 virus. The good news now is that we are no longer defenseless in this fight. We have a vaccine that is safe and effective against this deadly virus. The evidence has shown that the virus remains a clear and present danger to communities with low vaccination rates. The more of us who roll up our sleeves and get vaccinated is the more protected we will be individually and collectively. Over the holiday weekend, residents had the opportunity to get vaccinated at health centers in the Federation that were open over the weekend. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.